In Shortcuts A Lot 2, there's a built-in feature called Auto Trace. This feature allows you to import images such as bitmaps, JPEGs, GIFs, or PNG files, and will attempt to automatically trace the image for cutting. You'll have to note that results will vary depending upon the source of the image. Now we know what it is, let's see how it works. In order to auto trace an image, we'll first choose the trace image feature. You can get there either from the file menu, or you can just click the trace image button located on the top of the screen. This will bring up the auto trace window. When the window appears, you'll first need to choose the browse button. From there, you, you may have to navigate in order to find the image that you would like to trace. We're going to hit OK. Now you will see a colorized version of the photo that you're trying to trace. We can hit the preview button to see if auto trace fits our needs. If the trace needs tweaking, we can adjust the following settings. Prior to hitting OK, we may want to see what each one of these do. Let's take a look what the auto trace settings are. First one, we have the brightness control. This adjusts the brightness of the source image to help the auto tracer distinguish what should be traced. The corner control. This determines how the trace program should handle corners that it finds. The speckle. This removes tiny shapes, little stray dots, or speckles. This will help clean up a source image. Optimize. This can help reduce the number of nodes or points to make your cuts smoother. Break apart outlines. This will put a separate shape or line into its own separate layer and put it into a folder. The layers can be moved, deleted, or hidden, just like a layered SVG. As a reminder, the auto trace results may vary depending upon the content of the source file. Craft Ads suggests for best results, trace solid filled objects over a white background. Now as for these buttons below, the preview button, as you've seen, allows you to see the resulting trace of the image that uh, you specified in the settings. The save, this allows you to save the output image as an SVG file. The OK button, this will add the resulting trace onto your virtual mat. Now that we've explained the settings, it's time to hit OK. Because we've selected the break apart outlines, we are now able to go to Object Ungroup. This allows us to move, delete, show and hide the different layers that we would like to cut. Now you're ready to start tracing. Ensure cuts a lot too.